Folks, we've got time for one more tune, and then we're going to let Hudson and Clark take the stage here at the Music Muster, and you do not want to miss these two. They are wonderful 19th century musicians. Not that they were from the 19th century. <laughs> well, maybe. Maybe. It may, maybe, yeah, maybe the guy back there was. But, uh, they do just a wonderful job. So we've got one more tune to do for you. And of course, it's got a wonderful story to you. This is a little bit of Pennsylvania history that we want to share with you now. Uh, besides the one for the Widows and Orphans Home. Amos Humiston, by the way, a little Gettysburg trivia, is the only enlisted man, sole enlisted man, that has a monument here on the Gettysburg battlefield. So, if you want to ask me, I'll tell you where it is. <laughs> this next tune has got a very powerful Pennsylvania connection. On April 9th, 1865, at Appomattox Courthouse, Virginia, General Robert E. Lee surrendered to General Grant. And of course, the details of that surrender are very, very well documented. When Lee walked out onto the porch of the McLean House there at Appomattox Courthouse, his horse Traveler was brought to him. And of course, standing around that house was a large portion of both the Union and the Confederate Army. As Lee began to ride away, Union soldiers began to cheer. They were very quickly admonished by their superiors and told to be quiet and pay their respects to General Lee. As Lee continued riding through the crowd, a young man from the state of Pennsylvania, Justice Altmiller, 25-year-old German immigrant, got out his coronet and began to play Auld Lang Syne. As he got through the first measure in the first chorus, the band joined in behind him, and as Lee rode out of sight, you could hear both Union and Confederate soldiers singing Auld Lang Syne together, probably one of the last songs of the Civil War that they did as soldiers. So Old Lang Syne was very, very important to both armies. It was just like Home Sweet Home, very, very sentimental favorite. It was written in 1788 by Robert Burns, and it was written as a song of farewell between good friends. So Lisa and I'd like to say farewell to all of you. You're great friends. We hope to be back again next year. Got to tell Matt Atkinson, uh, Ranger extraordinaire to continue this program because this is just a highlight of the year for us. But anyway, Justice Alt Miller's family today still owns that coronet. It's very well documented. Justice went on to become a community band leader and played very, very well for the rest of his life. We're going to ask you all to join in and sing along on Home Sweet Home. This song has actually been used by military academies around the world for over a century for graduation ceremonies. On 1929, of course, Guy Lombardo and the Royal Canadians did it live on the radio from Radio City Music Hall. And everybody thinks now you have to have a bottle of champagne and kiss someone after you do the first verse. It'll be interesting to see if anybody even knows the second verse, and then we know what you do on Christmas, on New Year's Eve. <laughs> Very quickly. Um, real quickly. Yeah. And, and I know I've said this to several people individually, but it does mean a great deal to me and Steve, to both of us each year, to see familiar faces and see people that we see in Wyndham and, and see in, in Gettysburg every year. And that is what it is for us. We love, love, love to play music. We love playing Civil War music. But what means more to us than anything is the familiar familiar faces that we see year to year. You guys make this for us, so thank you very much. So we do dedicate this song to you. Thank you very much. Well she also enjoys riding thousands of miles a year in a car with me. <laughs> and crappy crappies. <laughs> Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind should old acquaintance be forgot in days of old lang syne for old lang syne my dear for old lang syne we'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of old lang syne so you can sing this. We do have run about the slopes. We picked the daisies fine. We've wandered many a weary foot for days of old Lang Syne. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne. We'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of old Lang Syne. Well, here's a hand I trust.
trusty friend and give me a hand of thine. We'll take a good, we'll drink of ale for days of old Lang Syne. For old Lang Syne, my dear, for old Lang Syne, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for days of old Lang Syne. God bless America. Thank you.